In order to set up flatbed correction, head into Settings, Technology, Special Purpose, Flatbed Correction. Here, make sure that the flatbed correction is disabled, so there's no check mark in the Enabled field. While we're doing the setup process, select your X and Y distances. So here, for example, we'll measure from 0 to 160 and 0 to 200. And then select the number of points for your points grid. Here we'll do a 2x2 two two grid. Click Save. And then click the Auto Measure Procedure button. Confirm. And the machine will begin moving. And here we're going to skip to the end after we've taken our first point, just so we save a little bit of time. Now after we've taken our measurements, you can now see that we have four points in our 2x2 two two grid. We can set up the reference Z position. So out of these points, you can see that our minimum measure point was at around negative 25.4 and our maximum measure point was at about negative 23.5. So our reference will be around somewhere around negative 24. You should typically aim to select a reference Z position that is somewhere in the middle between the, mix, uh, the minimum and the maximum point. So after we've entered our reference Z position, select the check mark for flatbed correction to be enabled, and click the Save Configuration button. After that, reload the application. Now that we have reloaded the application, we're back to the main screen. And now if we attempt to jog the machine, we can see that the z-axis value and the z-correction will change despite me only moving the machine in the x and the y direction.